Welcome to the Bald Eagle 242 YouTube channel. Today I've got my daughter's 2018 Mazda CX-5. It's in need of front brakes and rotors and she wants to learn how to change them herself. So let's go ahead and get started here. That one don't look too bad. Alright, if that rotor's stuck there, just take a 5 16 18 volt, put it in that hole there. And then just go ahead and tighten that down until the rotor pops off. Sometimes it'll help to smack it with a hammer too. Right, and just pull it off. And then look at that bolt on the inside. You'll see how that pushes in against the inside part. This is why we ended up changing the rotor on this. You can see here on the back of this thing how rusty and pitted it is. I think we're only using about 80% of the brake pad. You can see there, for some reason, it's wore very uneven. Seems kind of premature for a car that's only three years old. It's a 2018 with a little less than 40,000 miles on it. And lay that on on top of it just to make sure it's exactly the same. Dirty. Like a match. Okay. All right, we'll get that other one cleaned up with some brake cleaner and put it on. Doesn't go on any certain way, it'll go on anyway, just like a wheel. On these here, you've got a couple different ones. You can see how these tabs, you got a small tab here and a big tab here. So you've got a, a big tab on this side and a small tab on this side. So this is one set for this side, and this is your other set for the other side. Okay. Dirty. <laughs> yeah. And then take your one with the smaller tab, put it back in the side to have the smaller one in it. Kind of put it in at the bottom. The right one? Yeah, they're a little bit different, but it is the right one. That's all there is to it. It's just okay. spring loaded in there. A lot of people don't change these clips either, but you should change these after each one because that's kind of what keeps your brakes in place and holds everything together so it doesn't rattle. Ooh. Like that? Yeah, that's right. I think that's good. Yep, then go ahead and grab your brake pads. We'll go ahead and put the brake pads in here. All right, and then just kind of put the pad in. You want to put it in here like this and then roll it up so it snaps in place. You can do this after it's on the car. Sometimes it's easier to do it while it's out here on a bench where you can look at it. You can see there you got, that'll kind of hold your pads together. So when you put it on there, I mean, you can, like I said, you can put these on after you get it on the road or two, but this way you're not trying to do it all down in yeah. there when you can't see what you're doing. These slide in and out, so you want to make sure these are free. There's like a pin in there. If these are stuck, it'll cause uneven wear on your brakes. Okay. We need our bolts for these here, and then we'll set it up and go. Perfect. Go ahead and slide that bracket back on, put your bolts back in it. Try not to knock your brake pads off. You can make sure that rotor's pushed all the way on there too. If you gotta take your leg or something and kinda hold it in place, that might help too. I know anytime my dad was watching, if he walked away, I got it right away. Yeah, time. I bet I would. <laughs> might be because everything's not square. I think you need to push that rotor on tighter to keep everything squared up. Yep, thank you. Just get him started. I'm gonna have you check these, okay? To see how tight they are? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure. They're not crooked or anything? Yeah, they wouldn't have went that far if they were crooked. Okay. Remember how I showed you to put the other wrench on it earlier? You can do the same thing here. Turn around the other way. There you go. Okay. <laughs> when you lock two wrenches together like that, show us on camera what, you, what I just showed you there, how to lock those wrenches together to get a little more leverage. Perfect. You can do the same Tight. thing on the top one. How, how do the brakes work? Like, how do these move? There's a cylinder in that top, that piece there in the top. Here? Yep, and that has hydraulic fluid. When you press the brake pedal down, it pushes hydraulic fluid in through that hose. Here? And then that put, yep, and then that pushes the cylinder out inside of that caliper. It forces the brakes to close on that rotor. Gotcha. All right, I didn't show this on camera, but I did take this and I push this cylinder back in. You just push this and turn it, and that presses that cylinder back in so it'll fit back on there. So if that you don't, I can slide right. it on? If you don't do that, this won't fit. Okay. All right, 
14. And those don't need to be near as tight as those clamp brackets did. Once you hit your brake pedal now, it'll push that cylinder back out, and then that kind of clamps everything together and holds it all together. So there's really nothing that pushes the brake pads apart, but that cylinder does not go all the way back in. It just releases just enough to let the brakes loosen up and let the wheel turn. Put the wheel back on. We're done with this side. Not the best mechanic outfit. No. Not Say a word on the other side. Uh oh. Did you see where I had the jack stand on the other side? I didn't pay super close attention to that, no. Oh, it's good right there. Woohoo! I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! That's it. All right. I'm gonna get this one. Watch your fingers. It's heavier than I think it's gonna be. Size. Should be 14. I think you got 17. 17. Well, Roll the whole cart over here where you can get two things easier. You wanna go down. You're working behind. You're actually going opposite of what it seems like because it's behind you. Gotcha. I'd leave those just a little bit loose and then go ahead and take your seat clamp and compress that caliper down. On the back? Yep, all the way on the back. You can do this after you take it off too. It's just easier to do it while the brake pads are still in there and you can just clamp it all the way down. And then when you go to put it back together, it's already compressed. Now on the back brakes on this car, you have to put this thing into some kind of test mode and release the emergency brake to do this before you do this, but on the, you don't have to do any of that. And then just tighten that down. How much? All the way as far as you can go. How is it still going? You're compressing a cylinder. Crazy. That should be good. Then loosen that up and get it out of the way. Oh, it'll hold where I left it'll it? It'll stay where you left it. Yep, it'll stay right where it's at. So you push the brake pedal again. Oh yeah, see, now it's loose. Uh, I'm gonna get some new batteries for this light. Okay. I'm excited to look at these ones. You did get it. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, pretty nasty looking. You can see it was not using that entire pad on either side of the front. So maybe some of you guys watching know if this is a common problem on these cars. I didn't really see. There were no pins sticking. I didn't see anything that was seized up. That's just where I put my C-clamp on it before we pulled the uh, caliper off. And a lot of people do that after they pull the brakes off. But if you're replacing the brakes anyway, it doesn't hurt anything. Anyway, it seems kind of odd for me for a car that's, you know, three less than four years old anyway, that you'd already be replacing rotors. And that's it. Just snaps right into place. And these are the same, right? They, they are the same. Yep, I looked at them earlier. All four pads on the front are the same. Those are grease that's on there. Just clean all that off. You want to do both sides. Sorry, my hair was in front of that yeah, one. I think the thumbnail for this video should just be your hair. <laughs> you don't even know the struggle. You slide that on there and line it up with your uh, bolt holes. The threaded part goes on the inside by the rotor. You got those steel toed uh, flip flops on. Thank you. I need to square everything up again. Your rotor's a little pushed out at the bottom, so your threads are probably not straight. Make sure you got your, ones for... Yep, make sure you got your bolts in hand. Squeeze your brake pads all the way together so it's easier to get the caliper on there. Good idea.
Pull the jack out. There you go. Well, that's scary. Let it down real slow. <laughs> that was not slow. <laughs> Thought you were going to do it slow. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> that jack's really hard to get it to go slow. I set you up to fail. <laughs> I'm excited to drive my car. Let's go.